So how many of you have succulents in your garden already? I bet all of you do. Yep. You don't. <gasps> okay. So. I might send that on my porch. Okay. <laughs> so propagate. I'm going to speak about propagating them first, and then after that we can we'll move and start doing the um, planter. We'll make a planter out of these. But succulents are probably one of the easiest plants to propagate. So if you take a plant like this and where it has fleshy leaves, you just break a leaf off and you lay the leaf on the soil. So I have a saucer up here that has perlite and sand and soil. It's more sand and perlite than soil really and it's dry. This, this remains pretty dry all the time. I, don't, I might miss this after the leaves have been mature, but they just lay on here, and then after a while, they start growing a little, a little plant. So we'll cast some of these around, yeah. So you just lay them on the soil and they start growing, they start growing their own little plant. It's a miniature. Yeah. So it's, it's a lot of fun. No water, nothing. Right. You just lay it on the soil and it will, you don't even have to have soil if you don't want. Take a leaf. Nothing. I love it. Go so pass, pass some of these plants around so that you guys can take leaves and... That's a different kind. That's a different kind. That actually is a sedum. Yeah, ideally, what I like doing is I just take a clay saucer. Sand and soil, some potting soil. So these are all different types. Looks like looks like this one's already tried to start again. So another another kind of plant, aloes. Yeah. Well, you're all familiar with aloe vera. Yeah. So aloes and aloe type plants all start from the base. They will grow little babies. So you can all see where these little plants are growing at the base of it. And there are pictures in your handout. At the bottom uh -huh. of the of the cover page, it says aloes. Right. So see, all of these, they grow little. They grow little babies from from the base. And what is this? What is the name of this? These are aloes. These are all aloes, not aloe vera. Right. But they're aloes. They're all related to aloe vera. Okay. These ones that you sent around in the beginning, are those the Aeonium? They're not the Aeonium. They're going to be the Graptovaria and, and Sedum. There's a Sedum on another. Oh, I see. Yeah. 
grab the barrel. So another one going back to the going back to the sedums. Here's another one that has. So we're going to take little leaves off these guys. So it's, I call them jelly beans, <laughs> pork, pork and beans, because when this gets in the sun and it gets stressed, it turns red. And around here. So this one has not been in the sun, obviously, it's been in bright light, but not for a long time. So take some leaves. Is that one that can here? Yes. This is the pork and beans? Yes. Or like jelly beans. <laughs> There's aeonium. This is an aeonium. Yeah. So within these, you would cut. It's growing. See, it's growing all of its little babies up here. This will continue to get bigger. I was going to be a No. They'll stay red. But here, you break off the little butt. Will you do that? Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This guy is a crassula. Just on the second page. <laughs> Yep. But with these, you take cuttings. So you're going to cut this, dry it off, and set it in your sand. You cut it dry off the end? Yes. Yeah. They won't even be gooey, but I would dry it off. Yeah. Like hen and chicks. So everybody knows what hen and chicks are. Yes. Yeah. Is that flowery, right? Is it flowery here? Yes. Those are really cool. I like that. Is that this one here? Or no, it's a different one. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, look at the babies. They grow on top, too. Mm -hmm. on the last page. So this one sends out little air roots. 
down. He gets little little air roots in here. And so if it falls over, it'll root and start up again. Yep. The other thing that that plant does that's really weird. It will grow, if a leaf falls on the ground, it will grow little bitty, we're going to pass these around, it will grow little plantlets on the edges of the leaves. That's exactly oh. like the first one. Wow. This one also is a Kalanchoe. This one... When it blooms, it creates little plantlets on the ends of its buds, of its flowers. Yeah, they can take they can take little. Oh yeah, and, and they can take off. Yeah, they can take little babies off. Those are little uh, calicoids. Those are the ones that come off at the leaves. No, well, in that, the one that's being passed around, it blooms, it blooms and it comes off of the, 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 the flower. Yeah. Yes, yes. Senecio is another is another type of is another type of plant. So string of pearls. This one has kind of more than change shapes. But these are done through cuttings. So I have I have cuttings for I like those too. So why do I have such trophy growing those? And those you yeah. just put in the plate too. Mine look like the baby. Mine look like the baby. One for everybody. You just put those in the plate too and they'll... Wow. Yep. You just set them on, on the plate. I love them so much. Actually. Yeah. Because it's so easy. All of this stuff. I have big sauce. I have big giant sauce. <laughs> so then well, because I raise it for master gardeners. This also is is Senecio. So it's pictured on the upper right hand corner. Yeah, right here. It's it's the Senecio. Thank you. But these, there should be one for everybody. Have a hole in it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Nope. That's why I just use the 
saucer. Oh, So this also is senecio. This breaks off, has like little, it grows like little appendages on it. See, so where it's jointed, you just break them off. After it after goes around the room. Oh, Interesting looking plant. Yeah. This one looks the most like a I do have one that, that is a cactus. Look at that. That's cool. Isn't he cool? And if you take the spikes, is that what you? Yeah, Harry, you would take you would take these off. Oh, those down there, not the top ones. Yeah, no, not this. You're gonna take these these little miniature arms off. Really cool. They do all right in this climate. Pardon? They do all right in this climate. Indoors. I grow them indoors in the winter. They don't like the rain here. In the summertime, they all go outside. I put them outside. So, but otherwise, they spend the they spend the winter in the greenhouse and in a, or in a sunny window. The last one that I have to, to show you is Scylla. This is the last the la on the end of your handout. Yeah. The Scylla. So, and I'll pass this around because it, it has like a bulb in here. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's kind of that one's kind of cool. So, once so you transplant them in the soil, do you transplant them at this stage? Or yeah, they usually they will start, they will get roots. You want me to just pass around like this? Still <laughs> yeah, if, does it have roots? No, this one just doesn't. This one's too strong. Yeah. I don't think it does roots. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to start. It's laying on the top. Okay. It'll get so, roots. And once it gets roots, you can plant it. Well, it's planting Thank itself, basically. Right. It you is. can move it. So these, would you take the leaf or would you take the top? You're going to divide the bulb. Oh, down at the bulb. You're going to take it out of the pot and then pull, and then pull the bulb. The whole bulb piece. Yeah, pull the whole bulb off. Wow. Like the dirt, like the lily and the daffodils and stuff. Just bulb. Yeah. You can take the keys and go really to cool. this one. Look. And the last one I have, I don't know the name of it, but I have lots of it, so I brought it so that we could share. What is it? I don't know the name. But there's lots of it to share. But I have lots of it to share, so I thought I'd share. <laughs> I figured you got everybody likes free stuff, right? Okay, so how, how, how long is it take to go to this Oh, about two months. Two months to get this is probably even further because it's so big. Yeah, that might be. Sometimes they get they grow really fast like uh -huh. that, and sometimes they get roots and they just kind of sit there, and then all of a sudden they shoot stuff up. It, it varies. I don't know why. The only way you, I, I guess, one of the ways you can screw up is yeah. watering them too much, and then they yes, and then they'll look the way they die. They don't like this is a plant you didn't just left. Yes. <laughs> but you shouldn't totally have no, 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 no. Yeah, no, I always have problems how to fill the water. Yeah. I don't know. All of this stuff gets watered about once a week. It still gets watered. It, though. You don't get all watered. In the, in the little starting dish, yeah. I, I missed it. Yes. But the rest of it, rest this stuff all gets watered. Water. Yeah. Yeah, it gets water. Do you water drippy or do you water just like that? Like, 
I water them like a regular plant. Oh, yeah. But they're indoors. Right. So, and they dry out. Yeah. And I have to buy a place indoors. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Very different. Thing. <laughs> <laughs> Very different. What are you doing differently than, than what I'm doing? No, no, I mean, I will look at them differently. I mean, oh, like my right. sense of them will be different. She's All together. She's a new mommy. I'm a new mommy. Okay. <laughs> so here's the deal. Well, then you'll have a lot of stuff to start. Yeah, I'm a new mommy. from the base, uh -huh. you're going to wait for little pups to come, little babies to come from the bottom. If it has leaves, you can break off a leaf. And if it doesn't have anything that has separate leaves on it, you're going to take a cutting. Okay. So even if I don't know, if I don't have a guide in front of me, uh -huh. that's generally what I general, use general. as my, yeah, as my guide. Would you have that on using beach sand? Beach sand, you should not use. If you're going to use sand, either go to the hardware store or to the lumber yard and buy sand, sand. buy just basic playground sand, sand. sand. Uh -huh. or go upriver and go beyond the tide where the tide comes in so that you're not getting salt in your sand. If you take beach sand from the ocean, it has salt, salt in it and it will kill everything you have. I just buy sand. I have some. Thanks for letting us know. I would have made that mistake. Yeah. 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 You have a question? So we have some sand in our front yard. It's kind of like dirt and sand. Do so you think I could use that? Where do you live? We live in Gold Beach. Well, are you right on the ocean, though? We're about. We're probably about 800 feet of the crow flies, but we're up above basically on a cliff, so we're not down on the water. So you should be okay. You should be okay. Yeah, but you're not going to have salt in it. The salt is what you want to avoid. So you should be okay. Yeah. Yeah. So you can go out and, and put, mix some of that and put that in, in a saucer. Then you already have your mix of soil and sand. And right. Yeah. 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 The idea is, you, I mean, most of the most of these plants grown are native to the desert, to desert areas. So if you think of where they're growing, they're growing in very dry, arid spaces. They get their water from the condensation in the morning, and they drink that up. And their their fleshy leaves hold that water. They absorb that and they hold it, and that's why they don't need to be watered all the time. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
There's also sedum in there that, that kind of does, this plant is, is back there that does this thing mm -hmm. that kind of falls down over that gets really cool. Um, and there's, a, there's two other kinds of sedum back there, but I kind of go according to um, like hanging pots where you have your thriller, your filler, and your spiller. Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't make that up. I heard that sometimes. But, but you know, you have you have the thing that catches your eye. I look at texture. I look at color of the leaf. When I'm putting that together, and you want something that's going to be low, something that comes up, and then something that spills over the edge. Really? Yeah. So there are plants back there like this that you can use for your thriller, maybe yeah. because he's red. red. You know, you've got you've got this that's kind of spiky. There is one that's blooming that's perfect for Mother's Day. And then there are little there are little sedums in there, and these will become your spiller. Which ones? The sedums. So we can go back. We can. We can kind of all gather around that table maybe and I'll show you and then I'll just hand out pots and soil and you guys can go for it. 